Hey, 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 welcome back Design Squad and in this episode of Sketch Noob to Master series we're gonna see how to make a simple prototype with Sketch. Now, there are several ways to do so. Sketch, you know, it's not really like interaction design based prototyping tool. It's more of like a low fidelity to high fidelity on a static mockup. If you want to achieve something like Axure does with variables and user inputs and, you know, validations and all that jazz or data transfers from page to page, well, this is not a case. However, if you want to design and prototype very simple, what I call low fidelity prototype with, let's say, Envision, Sketch can actually do that. So imagine I have these few screens where it's quite linear and I have this story where basically user let's say, downloads the app, they accept some sort of notifications, they go into next step, next, 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 they might make choice here and there. However, in the end, they basically land on this home screen. And so let's imagine that I'm just gonna check and user test my onboarding screens. And so I might start with an actual interactive bit. The uh, simplest option if you can just go to insert and there you're gonna find a new addition with the latest sketch bits, which is called hotspot. And then you can basically add like a, you know, like a container, which is basically gonna be clickable and it automatically gonna prompt you to select the next screen where this is gonna take you to. So let's see that one, boom. And so let's say whenever I tap this, it's automatically going to open the next screen. Now, as you can see here on our right hand side, we have a prototyping properties and settings. And so it's it's almost like it's either instant animation. It's a, you know, like a slide in. So it animates from the right. It's let's say it animates from the bottom to the left or down. So it's really simple type of stuff. You know, it's nothing really special. It's as simple as that. If that's all you need, Sketch is great. If you want something more, well, you need to find a better tool. And so let's say I'm gonna add more hotspots. So let's say this. And I like to add hotspots instead of, let's say, using um, shortcuts. And just to show you, if you select something and you click on W, let's say, it automatically enables the hotspot to the layer. So you can do it easily like this. So let's say if I select this group, click W, boom. If I select that, click W, boom. If I select that, click W, boom. And I'm not even checking where it's gonna lead me. I'm just gonna, you know, randomly link these pages, you know, in a matter of seconds, basically, basically stitching up all the different mockups together into a story. And so now I have a flow, basically. I also can stitch to go back as well if I want to. A shortcut for actually adding a hotspot like I did before on a custom level, let's say maybe a map is now, you know, swipeable or something like that. You would click on H and then you can actually just draw a hotspot and maybe link it back, let's say for whatever reason. So W or H, depending on what you, you know, what, what's your preference. I usually use W or I just draw it simply uh, out of insert. And that's it. That's all it is. Now, if I want to preview, I can just hit preview. And as you can see, it started from my selected page. But let's start from actual splash screen, click preview. And if I let's say click, I click, I click, click, click. Uh, I don't remember which ones I linked, but let's say this is it. Boom. And once I defined all those links between the pages, I want to prototype and publish, let's say, and test on my stakeholders or users, you know, all that story, if it makes sense to get feedback for updates, all I need really to do, go ahead and just publish it to my cloud. And you know, once you publish it in the sketch cloud, this is where you're gonna be able to collaborate with other people, share with your clients, get the feedback as mentioned before. Once that's done, I go to my mockups, where I had all my mockups done, I can go ahead and just preview my prototype. And boom, as you can see, it's all retains the same hotspots and links I had done beforehand in my sketch. And if I take that unique link, I can then either send the link to someone who has an access to this. By default, it's a private one. However, you can invite people to, you know, add comments and access it, you know, be it your teammates or someone else from outside. All you need to do is verify their account and then you can contribute and help you shape the things. You know, it could be your end users, maybe you do remote testing, or it could be stakeholders, which you need specific feedback on. However, they're gonna be able to 
preview your prototype and play with it and kind of complete that story you just designed. There is another option which is basically purely craft and it links to InVision which is quite separate from Sketch Cloud. In a craft prototype you have this bolt and let me just demonstrate on different mockups than what we had. So let's say maybe it's gonna be, um, which one is a good one? Maybe this one, let's say. This mockup, let's link this. If I click C, Envision Craft automatically allows me to prototype into that and then just select some sort of different type of sources and what to do, what sort of gestures, and I can just add the link that way. And once that's added, and then I can just simply publish it into my Envision and then preview it and it's gonna retain the hotspot. So it's whichever way you want to prototype with Sketch, but that's how you do it. And again, it's a simple slideshow type of prototyping, state A, state B, and then switch between them with some sort of basic animation. If you want something more than that, you have to look for a different tools out there and there are like plenty of them. So I hope it's useful. I hope you know how to prototype on a basic level of sketch. Give a like, subscribe to this channel and until next time.